I was 70 a week ago. And as I've said before, you feel the strength going from you. It started really, when I really started noticing it, it was in 2019, when I had to move home. And I really put every effort into moving my stuff. And I helped someone else move as well. And uh, I did it, but I remember thinking, God, I hope I don't have to do this very often. It was quite hard work. I did have some help with the really heavy stuff. I had to pay some men to take the heavy stuff. Anyway, so, yeah, the latter part of my 60s, I started to feel, I don't know, everything feels weaker. My legs are strong. My lungs are up and down. Heart's up and down at the moment. And uh, my spirit is still strong as ever for this walking, this lovely walking I do. Well, I have recorded this in all weathers, not snow. I've always wanted to come up here in the snow. Just past two people. They've probably just gone for a walk. It's just simply a walk round because it's got no rucksack. You can tell when people haven't got a lot, a big load that they ain't gone, they ain't going to find it very clean. They probably came up from down there and just done that, but which is might, might be all I, I will be able to do one day. Because I'm just thinking, I've done lots of walking in the last 15 years. And uh, I've covered lots and lots of ground. And I've enjoyed every bit of it. I, and I still want to go exploring family tree wise. I've got a lot of family tree stuff to do around the country yet. Some of that's just like castles and cathedrals, wandering around villages, museums, that sort of thing, archives, the indoor stuff really. But I still wonder, if, will I be able to do that, what I've done today when I'm 80? And I'm beginning to think, I struggle today, but it's horrible conditions, mind. Not horrendous conditions. There's no cold wind. It's mild. It's about 12, 13 degrees in February. That's why we've got all this mist and mildness. It's an old uh, drinking hole for the cows. I just wonder about that sometimes. These I do. This is my visual diary, reflective diary, and uh, I just think, will I do that hill? I mean, I have to, I'm going to, I went up it slow then. I did have an umbrella. I might cheat like other people do, but then you've got to come back. If you park, you have got to come back where you started. Whereas I've been dropped off by the bus. There's no pressure. The only problem is, a couple of years back, <coughs> I did an almost identical walk to this. And further up on the six fields I've got to go through later, most of it was fine. Until the last field but one. Where I totally got lost in the mist. I couldn't see no cows. They were there. Standing like statues. In a tableau. And I got a feeling, you, know, you can't see a bit across the fields, but I like to be able to see in, in advance so that I can do an alternative route if necessary. <sighs> yeah, I mean, sometimes think, oh, people will probably get bored of the same old routes, you know. <laughs> but, uh, thing about what's going on in the world, let's do a little bit about that. Energy prices are going up massively, almost 
Most people's bills will go up about 700 quid, they rent a year extra. On top of what they already pay. The, the announcements are coming out today what our increases will be for where we live and what sort of house band we're in. Now they are saying that vulnerable people, poor pensioners, disabled and all those sort of people as well might get a, a rebate. We already get warm hand warm home discount and we also get winter fuel payments the elderly when I say elderly that's the swing you retire and I don't think class anyone's elderly when they're 65 not in this day and age but you get those benefits but they're saying now that there might be an added benefit for the really vulnerable but a lot of people young families aren't always classed as vulnerable because if they're working and say they've got two or three kids they still might not get any um, extra help do you know what I mean? but some of them are struggling already to feed their children um, with Covid with furlough with people losing their jobs a lot of people have become very unsettled and, and, and had to face a lot of hardship during the last two years. Some people have lost their jobs and they're having to face universal credit and all the poverty. There's a lot of pressure and they're condemned. People are sanctioned. It's time you over style. People are sanctioned for all sorts of reasons you could be five minutes late for an appointment which isn't their fault because they were in the queue and when they get sanctioned they can have their money stopped um, so there's an awful lot of punitive measures I call them on the poor again the rich are absolutely gorging in wealth they're showing the aristocracy on telly now flagrantly showing us how good their mansions are how much their lovely 140 pound mills cost you know what I mean no wonder there was a revolution in Russia there could be another one that leads me on to the crisis in the Ukraine with Russia building up thousands of armed men on the borders. America aren't helping. They've sent in over thousands of troops over that way, billeted in places like Romania, the, the Ukraine and other countries and England as well are doing stuff. UK I mean. It's almost encouraging somebody to fire the first shot. Now, Russia attacked and took back the Crimea a couple years back. And they're trying to get Ukraine back because they see it as part of the Russian Empire. And President Putin, he must be near the end of his term soon, so he might want to make his mark. It's a risky business. We've had Russian ships and submarines in the English Channel recently, apparently. But we don't trust this government. They already mess us about lie. There's all that scandal, party, that party scandal. During the Covid period, when people weren't allowed to hug their dying relatives, they were having parties in Downing Street. Party gate, they call it. So folks, I'm walking across my beautiful fields, reflecting on the state of the world. Whether you'll hear any of this, I don't know. You won't see a lot, because it's very misty. Now, I'm really enjoying it though. I actually love being out here. I love it. I do. I just love this. 
It's not raining, so it's that's helped. It's just mist. It's just mist. I, with the naked eye, I can see probably further than the camera will. So I'm not using the zoom. I don't know what the camera will be doing. I've got no idea. Coming up to another stone style zoom. They never have cows in this field. This is always a crop field in here. I mean, they might rotate it one day, I don't know, but this always seems to be crops. Um, and this next one. These seem to be crop fields. With a lovely, lovely style. Another lovely stone style to climb. And a very muddy field to cross. bothered by the mud. Once you get... I'm already muddy. Look at the sea of me. I'm already really muddy. So it don't matter now. I've got clean jeans on underneath. I'll try and avoid the mud if I can. By walking a bit out. Not, not exactly on the same. It's a big hoof, isn't it? Big hoofs here. So anyway, that's a bit of the state of the world. Um, yeah, we had a boy we knew got murdered a week and a bit ago, nearly two weeks now, when he was in Thailand, a village boy that we all knew. I won't say who it was, but that's um, a bit of a shock to everyone. So we're marching into our 70s now. And I'm carrying on as usual at the moment, trying to fit in this walk that I can't do in the summer because I was chased by cows and surrounded. Just managed to get over the wall. Barbed wire and a wobbly stone. But I managed to do it. Fortunately, there was a large pole and I grabbed all that big sturdy pole and hoisted myself up. The cows were right at my feet by then. It was a very hairy experience, which wasn't totally videoed because I never had time to think about videoing at that particular time. So folks, to be a bit breezy in places, it's to be expected. I'm right up on the hills and it's the open fields. We're coming up to the two styles again for those that of you who follow me different times of the year. Look at that there. A bit of light look. Bit of blue sky over there. But is that coming my way? Is that rain? Have to get the umbrella out again if it is. It does help. If it's raining, it does stop the full blast on the coat. The light mist creeps in, but it will dry. But the heavy rain is different, so over there, not quite sure where that's going. Um, could be coming for me. Anyway, the two styles. What I've decided to do with one of the fields is walk the, the, the little path, the little lane at the side of it. Because I know that particular field is a quagmire because they have massive herds in there most of the year and they churn it right up. Now, when I came in December, the, the cows had just been taken out of that field but they were all over there and I could see them in advance. The problem I've got today is I can't see them in advance. And like I said, because the climate's warming up, the grass is growing, the farmers are having the cows out. So I don't particularly want to go uh, over there because that'll take me further away. I want to go that way because I'm going that way. Okay, but there's, there's another style over there. But I'll go this way. 
Right, just going to turn off and take a picture of this clear scene because the mist seems to have dissipated very quickly here. Over and out.